Blessings and blessings. My name is Preston Smiles, and I am a messenger of love, sent here to remind us all of the one truth, which is love is all there is, was, and ever will be. Today's transmission is the perfectionist wound. How huh? that the very thing that you seek from the perfectionism is the very thing that is blocking the desire that you most have on your heart. So I want to start by saying, if you identify as a perfectionist, more than likely, you were unconsciously, subconsciously taught to perform for love. I'm going to say that again, allow the pause and uh, also remind any of you watching this on YouTube to make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment below if any of this lands. So, more than likely, if you identify as a perfectionist, you were unconsciously, subconsciously taught to perform for love. Therefore, uh, or I'll give you an example, uh, you are nine years old and you come home with your report card and you say, Mommy, Daddy, you know, BT dub, this has been going on way before then, but th we have these moments that cement in our consciousness that, rem that, that sort of tell us that this is how it's going to be. So you're nine years old, you come home with your report card, and you have, uh, let's call it, um, f four B's, two A minuses. And you say, oh my God, look, look. I have a 3.7 GPA and your dad or your mom, whoever your caretaker was, looks at you and says, that's good, honey, um, but why not a 4.0? That's good, honey, but why not, uh, you know, an A plus, right? What'd you do wrong? What, what occurred that had you have to get up A minus? That parent, that caretaker highlighting the negative, them highlighting what you did wrong instead of what you did right, cements this part of uh, your consciousness, your, your ethos that says, oh, it's not safe unless I am perfect, right? Unless I win at all cost, it is not safe. So mask number one comes onto your face and, and into your consciousness. I must perform. If I'm going to get daddy's love and mommy's love and mommy's attention and mommy's praise, I have to do good in order to be worthy of that. So this will inevitably touch everything that occurs in your entire life. I have coached and held space for thousands of people with the perfectionist wound and what it does to them, right? Because all they want is to be closer. They want the same thing we all want, which is love, connection. But the, 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 the adult with the child, the wounded child on the inside, pushing people away until it's perfect trying to get it so right that it alienates their friends and their family and their partners actually has an adverse re reaction or effect than what that person truly wants. And so if you identify with any of this and you have a perfectionist wound, my challenge to you is to jump before you're ready. Because ready is not a feeling it's a decision. Perfect isn't true. It's just true. And so what I do, I have a different wound, but what I do with my clients who have this wound is I, I challenge them to point at the lie and ask themselves, do I want to keep that lie? It was a strategy to stay safe as a child, but do I want to keep it as an adult? which instantly puts them in choice. If I have a choice in the matter, then no, I don't want to keep that strategy. 
because it's not serving me. Do I want to have it as a tool that I can get to? Yes. Do I want it to run my entire life? No. See the distinction? Most people have it running their entire lives, whether they're conscious or unconscious of it. But the choice is yours. Please leave a comment below if this landed, resonated, we're just getting this conversation started. We're going deep all day, every day. My name is Preston Smiles. I love you so much. I appreciate you so much. In the next seven days, for those of you with the perfectionist wound, you're going to jump before you're ready. You're going to put things out before they feel perfect to you and just lean into and experience the discomfort and then pull back. Is that mine? Keep recognizing. Keep recognizing how you are separate from the strategy. Most people, I, I am a perfectionist. No. Perfectionism is a strategy that you used to stay safe. Now you have options. Mm. Love you all. Blessings and blessings.